Hello. In this video, I show you how to backup VMware vSphere virtual machines using the Kivo backup and replication. Before you begin, make sure you have added your vCenter server or standalone ESX I host to the solution inventory. To begin, navigate to the data protection dashboard, click the plus button and select backup for VMware. The VMware backup job wizard opens with four steps to complete. At the source step, select the virtual machines you want to back up. You can also choose to back up a full VMware container, including the ESXi host, the resource pool and the vCenter server. Adding or removing VMs from the container will automatically update the backup job. Excluding specific VMs will protect the container except for the excluded VMs. The different views allow you to search and locate specific VMs. The VMs and Templates view displays VMware hosts, VMs and VM templates. The policy view allows you to create rules to quickly find and add VMs to backup jobs. For instance, you can set a rule to include VMs with the word small in their name. Nikivo backup and replication will automatically select these VMs and add them to the backup job. You can add a second rule to protect the VMs you selected only when powered on. One of the most commonly used policies is the tagging rule, where you add VMs with a specific tag to the backup job. Select VM tag, set criteria like contains, and provide specific criteria. The hosts and clusters view displays all VMware items, like clusters, hosts, folders, resource pools and virtual machines. You can also prioritize which VMs are backed up first by reordering the selected items. I'll select a few VMs to back up and click next. At the destination step, choose a backup repository to store your backup. You can choose a cloud platform, such as Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Backblaze B2, Wasabi, and other S3 compatible storage. You can also select local folder or network share as a destination. If you have configured a federated repository, you can also choose it as a target for your backups. You can check the video that appears in the right top corner to learn more about federated repositories and how to set them up. In my case, I have a backup repository created in Wasabi, and I'll be using it to create immutable recovery points. The advanced setup allows for granular repository selection on a per VM basis. You can choose to store one VM backup on premise, while others can go to the cloud. Additionally, you can select which disks you would like to back up. If you're backing up large amounts of data, you can use staged backups, also known as seeding backups, to speed up the initial backup process and save network bandwidth. First, run the initial backup to removable media, transport it to the target location and then import it into Nikivo backup and replication as an existing backup. When creating the backup job, you can then check use existing backup as a target to map source VMs to existing backups and run subsequent incremental backups to the new location. Once done here, click Next. At the Schedule step, choose whether to manually run backup jobs by selecting the Do Not Schedule or Run On Demand checkbox, otherwise, set up a schedule for your job runs. Nikivo Backup and Replication allows you to create multiple schedules for the backup job. For example, set up periodic backups to run every hour on a daily basis. Specify how long you'd like to retain recovery points in the repository and set up the number of days they should be immutable. You can add an extra schedule for daily backups and then weekly backups to run every week. Set up the retention and immutability periods as needed. Finally, create a monthly backup schedule to run on the last day of each month. You can configure the start and end times, as well as the retention and immutability settings. Click Next. At the Options step, enter a name for this job and assign a job priority level from 1 to 5, with 1 being the highest. If other jobs are running simultaneously, this job will run first. Enable Use Installed VM Agents if you want to use them for this job. By enabling VM Agents, you allow Nikivo Backup and Replication to use agents installed in VMs to perform supported operations, like file system indexing. Enable App Aware Mode to ensure data in applications like Microsoft Exchange Server, Active Directory, and SQL Server remains consistent. Click on Settings to specify which VMs to protect in App Aware Mode. Application Aware Mode relies on the Volume Shadow Copy Service in Windows-based guest operating systems for consistent backups running inside the VMs. So make sure it's enabled on the VMs you want to backup. For Linux-based VMs, you can use custom scripts within the specific directory of the guest VM for application aware mode to work. As soon as the backup job runs, Nikivo backup and replication triggers these scripts before creating VM snapshots. Choose a change tracking method for incremental backup. You can use VMware native CBT, 
Nikivo's proprietary change block tracking or disable change tracking altogether to create only full backups. In case of errors, reset the CBT technology or switch to the proprietary method for continued change block detection. You can enable network acceleration to speed up data transfers and reduce traffic between sites if you're using repositories off-site. Using network acceleration for local storage is not recommended as it can negatively impact backup times. When network encryption is enabled, backup data will be encrypted during transfer to the target repository with AES-256 encryption. To ensure that data is encrypted throughout the backup process and while it is stored in the backup repository, you can also enable backup encryption. Click Settings to set up a password for encrypting and decrypting your data. By combining backup encryption and immutability, you ensure optimal cyber resilience for your backup data throughout its life cycle. To recover data from an encrypted backup, you will need to provide the password you set up, so ensure you store it securely in a safe place. If you have integrated AWS Key Management Service with the solution, you can protect encryption keys from loss. With VM verification, Nikivo backup and replication checks backup data integrity using either screenshot verification or boot verification to ensure it's available for recovery when needed. When enabled, automatically powers up a VM from the backup and waits for the OS to boot. Once booted, Nikivo backup and replication captures a screenshot of the user interface or verifies the availability of VMware tools. Enable exclude swap files, partitions and unused blocks to reduce backup storage space and enhance data transfer speed. Under Full Backup Settings, specify how often you'd like to create full backups. For instance, you can choose to create a full backup every second Friday of the month. Specify how full backups should be created, either synthetic or active full. Synthetic full only stores the changed data since the last backup, combining it with existing blocks to create a complete backup. Active full reads all VM data from the source and transfers it to the backup repository. If you've configured email settings, you can enable email reporting to receive notifications on job completion status. You can also choose to truncate exchange logs and SQL server logs. The file system indexing feature allows you to create an index for the files and folders in your VMware VM backups. When enabled, you can easily search and recover specific files or folders within a backup using the search tab on the left. If needed, you can run pre and post job scripts and provide the local path to the scripts. Under Data Transfer Settings, configure the Data Transport Mode to select the optimal data recovery method automatically. Alternatively, you can manually choose the Data Transfer Method for each job. When the Transporter Pool box is checked, only transporters from the selected pool will be used during the job run. You can also limit the number of concurrent tasks to adjust the load on the transporter. The default and recommended value is 3 concurrent tasks. Configure bandwidth throttling settings to control data processing throughput with specific limits for each job. Bandwidth throttling is managed with rules to limit data transfer speed. When a rule is configured, the transfer speed from source to target will not exceed the specified limits. The rules can always be active or scheduled to run at specific times. If you enable bottleneck detection, Nikivo backup and replication collects and records logs during data transfer to detect potential bottlenecks. Finally, you can choose to backup VMware VMs located on supported storage devices, including HPE 3 PAR, Nimble, Aletera, Primera, and NetApp, directly from storage snapshots. This provides faster VM backups and a lower impact on your production machines. Click Finish and Run to save your changes and run this backup job. The backup has been created successfully. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also visit the Nikivo website to download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.